Students, welcome back to the online class of Mathematics Class 10, NCRT book specially. Uh, on the last class, we have done 4.1, which is a quadratic equation chapter. So, tonight, today, I'll begin with 4.2, question number 1. So, in the first question, it is said here, find the roots of the following quadratic equation by factorization. In some of the solution I have talked about, factorization many method many times so the same thing we are going to do and learn tonight so in the first Roman number it is given x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 so let's solve it this one as I have told you on the last class you have to see the multiplication result of the first coefficient and the last constant term if you multiply 1 into 10 it is 10 so since it is a middle term you write down the corner two numbers as it is and the last sign since it is negative you should put here negative sign now think the two numbers so that the result will give 10 why because it is here 1 1 into 10 is 10 the same thing you will do here multiply any two numbers to get it 10 if you take it 5 2 times it is 5 into 2 is 10 and you have to see the coefficient of x again 5 minus 2 is how much 3 so you have got it here 3 so you can take these two numbers on the next step x square minus 5 into x will be 5x minus minus will be plus 2 into x 2x minus then is equal to 0. In the next line, you have to take common from these two numbers and common from these two numbers. x and x is common and then x minus 5 plus you can take it 2 x minus 2 how many times is 10? It is 5 times which is equal to 0. Now from the two common numbers take it down 1 and x plus 2 is remain which is equal to 0. Now you can go with either x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. x is equal to this minus 5 if you transfer in the right side it will be plus 5 and x is equal to over here you will get it minus 2. So these are the roots of the equation that we have got it. In the previous classes, whenever we get it, the minus sign, minus sign, we used to write being negligible. But we are not going to use further these two values. So we can keep the root as 5 and minus 2. Therefore, the root of the given equation is x equal to 5 or x equal to minus 2. This is about Roman number 1 solution. Students, you can take a screenshot of this and write it down. And if you have any doubt, you can ask it to the comment, sec comment section always. Okay. Now I will go to Roman number 3 of the questions. I will leave Roman number 2 and the other numbers of this question because the other questions are a bit as easy. But this Roman number 3 is a bit peculiar than the other. So I'll try this one. In the first term, we have it root 2x square, second plus 7x, third, 5 root 2. As I have told you before, you multiply the first and the last number. Root 2 into 5 root 2. What is the result of this? Root 2 into 2 is, root 2 is, it will be 2 and 5 is there. So 2, 5 for how much? 10. Root 2 into root 2, the value will be 2. And root 3 into root 3, 3. Root 100 into root 100 will be 100. Because root 2 into root 2, if you multiply it, this is the basic part. It will be square. The square and the root can be cancelled. You will get it obviously 2. That's why root 2 into root 2 will be 2. So write the same number root 2 x square plus 7 x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 
root 2 x square plus keep a bracket x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0. Yes, the last sign is positive. You have to keep here positive. Now, <coughs> multiply it any two numbers to get it 10. Can I take it 5 and 2? 5 to our 10 and then 5 plus 2 will be 7 which is the correct number. Now root 2 x square plus you multiply it 5 into x will be 5x plus 2 into x 2x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0. After that take common from here from these two terms and take common from these two terms. You can take it x so root 2 x is remain plus 5. 1x goes here already plus now what common you will take it from here? I think you can take root 2 and then what is left? Root 2 x plus 5 is equal to 0. Why I am taking root 2 here? Because root 2 into root 2 if you multiply it, it will be 2. It means the result over here is 2. So to get it this 2 I, have, I can take it root 2 as a common. Root 2 into root 2 is 2 and x, x is same plus plus root 2 I have taken already 5 is left. Now from the two common numbers root 2 x plus 5 you can take it and the other one is x plus root 2 which is equal to 0. Now you can go with either root 2 x plus 5 is equal to 0 and then root 2 x is equal to minus 5 x value will be minus 5 divided by root 2 or another one x plus root 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to minus root 2 therefore the root of the given equation is x equal to minus 5 by root 2 or x is equal to minus root 2. This will be the answer of these questions. Okay, students, I have written here all the solutions. I will just go with the explanation because to make a short video, shorter video, I have done this time. Now, you see here, John and Jivanti together have 45 marbles. Both of them lost 5 marbles each. And the product of the number of marbles they now have is 124. This 124 comes after losing 5 marbles each. Okay. And these are this is the one this 124 is the product value of the two marble after losing 5 marble each. Find out how many marbles they had to start with. Now let us let it. Let the number of John marble be x. Therefore, number of Jivanti marble will be 45 minus x. Why? Because if I go to shop and want to buy something for 20 rupees. This money is the sharing between me and my friend. We have 20 rupees. Then I want to use it 5 rupees. I have taken my share 5 rupees from and spend it for something 5 rupees to the shop and how much more my friend will have. What is the total number? 20. 20 minus my share 5. 20 minus 5 is 15. So likewise, if John marble is x, then Jivanti marble will be, what is the total number? 45. 45 minus x will come. Now, let's go according to the equation. The product, product is a multiplied. Product, these products comes after losing 5 marble each. You see here, from John, if you lost 5 marble, then it will be minus. If it gained 5 marble, then it will become plus 5. Now, minus 5, the same thing. What is given to marble? 45 minus 6. 45 minus 6. Since it is after losing 5 marbles, I should give it here minus 5. And these two, we have to multiply it because it is the product. What is the result of these two? 124. Now, go on x minus 5 x minus 5 45 minus 5 is how much 40 minus x minus x which is equal to 
124. Now you multiply these two x into x 40x x into x x square minus will come 5 into 40 200 5 into x 5x five which is equal to 124. Then I have given here x square in the front and 40x plus 5x is 45x minus 200 and then this 124 I transfer in the I have transfer in the left hand side and nothing is left with the right side so I have given 0. Since the coefficient of x square is negative, I'll try to put positive. So to get it like that, I can take minus sign is common, minus, minus is plus, minus plus is minus, minus this two addition. Minus minus is plus 200 plus 124 is 324. Still it have to carry minus sign. So minus into that minus will be plus, which is equal to zero. Then this minus, this minus, I can transfer right side. It will become minus 1. 0 divided with any number is 0. So negative is now no more. Then x square minus 45x plus 324. So we'll go on solving with middle term factorization of this number. x square minus minus. If you multiply 36 into 9, it will become 324. Then 36 plus 9 is again 45. How do we get this number? Just go on factorization method of this number 324. You will obviously get it 36 and 9. Then go on x square x square minus minus 36 into x 36x minus plus is minus 9 into x is 9x plus 324 equal to 0. Then take common from these two numbers from these two number x. You can take it x into x x square x into 36 36x then minus minus 9 9 into x is 9x 9 into 36 is 324 how did this negative sign come plus into minus is minus so from the two common numbers we will take it 1 and x minus 9 is left so we'll get it here either x minus 36 equal to 0 or x minus 9 equal to 0 if you transfer this minus 36 in the right side it will become plus 36 if you transfer this minus 9 on the right side it will become plus 9. Now you get x value 2 positive sign here. In the other solution we used to get it negative sign 1 and we used to get positive sign 1. So we used to neglect the negative sign 1 but over here we have got it the two values. So you can take any one from these two numbers. So let us first take it this 36. The number of John Marble is 36 because x value is 1 John Marble. So if John Marble is 36 then the number of given T Marble will be how much? 45 minus x 45 minus 36 will be 9 likewise if john marble is 9 then if john marble is 9 then jivanti marble marbles will be 45 minus 9 will be 36 like this you will get it the solution just take a screenshot of this and then you can write it down so if you have any question you can go to the comment section and don't forget to like the channel and subscribe it and that's all for today thank you and see you all in the next class bye bye